Hi everyone, my name is Zenith Nakus. Uh, I'm a consultant at Mayo Clinic and providing imaging AI support to radiology, cardiology and pathology departments. So today I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence and cardiac imaging and where we are in AI advances on cardiac imaging modalities. So I'll start with a little bit of background and, and pros and cons of each imaging modalities and then focus on the echocardiography. So cardiac MRI provides high quality images of heart muscles and it's not suitable for patients with pacemakers and defibrillator and which is the off-limit for this imaging modality and it's five times more expensive than echo. AI, used, AI is used for in, in imaging, image reconstruction. Recent studies show that it's three times faster and on an automated analysis provides automated analysis and again recent studies show that, that the AI can process a cardiac MRI in four seconds compared to 15 minutes by a physician. Cardiac CT is an ionizing radiation modality which is the, uh, the limitation of these and it exposes your patient to the radiation and it's more accessible compared to cardiac MRI and cost is compared with echocardiography. AI is used on image denoising, reconstruction, objective segmentation and classification. Cardi cardiac nuclear imaging, it evaluates for the heart for coronary artery disease and cardiomyopathy and it, uh, AI is used to prediction of coronary artery disease and cardiac death. Echocardiography, which is the most common imaging modality to assess the cardiac diseases and cardiac uh, functionality. It's cheaper, accessible, portable, very quick, and quite sufficient to diagnose and monitor heart disease. Its uh, AI is used for standardizing measurements, diagnosing cardiac diseases, and assisting image capture. And this is a recent study for our, from our group, the State of Art Review for the Artificial Intelligence Empowered Echocardiography Interpretation. If you are interested, you can uh, read this. It's a good overview for the, the progress in the echocardiography interpretation with AI and standardize echo measurements using AI. So as you know, uh, echocardiography measurements include significant inter-reader variability. So AI could help to could help reduce or eliminate these uh, inter-reader variability. So basically we train AI models with, uh, for these measurements and whoever uses software or tool, AI tool, basically end up the same measurements. And then there are a bunch of measurements that it has been done manually and what could be done actually AI could uh, do all these measurements and create an automatic report and push it to electromedical system and for physician review and then improving the clinical echo workflow so basically AI could flag to certain patients or certain studies and then certain diseases and certain uh, abnormalities that physician actually uh, could uh, check those and, and, and be more aware of like a, the, the AI suggestions and then could also, you know, triage the patients into the right physician and optimize the clinical workflow. So diagnose the myocardial diseases with AI. So basically, uh, AI is used to assess the asteroid dysfunction, and then it can, it's also used to assess the predicted cardiac diseases. E.g., for instance, uh, constrictive pericarditis, restrictive cardiomyopathy, pulmonary hypertension, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, atrophy, and wall motion abnormalities. Uh, AI also has been used to assist image capturing, noise reduction, and image reconstruction. So these are the list of the commercial software packages that provides automated measurements and diagnosis. Siemens Medical Solutions, GE Healthcare, Tomtech Imaging Systems. They all provide auto ejection fractions, auto LV and LA volumes, and auto strain. But you need to manually select these leaves. And, and Ultromix, it's a, it a, provides automatic ejection fractions, LV and LA volumes, and auto strain, and auto identification of the chronic heart disease. Uh, coronary heart disease uh, 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 in a fully automated manner. DI Imaging Analysis also provide auto ejection fractions and also standard echo view identification in a fully automated man manner. Differently, Caption Health uh, provides a, a guidance software, which is in this case AI tool for assist capturing images of a patient heart. Um, this table shows the deep learning based AI studies for view identification and quality assessment. And you will see a multiple of actually studies try to do the echocardiography view classification and quality control. You see Zeng et al. did the 23 standard echo view classification and Mandani 15 standard echo view classification and our study which is in this case we actually tried to classify the doctor images and then you see the Abdi et al. Uh, tried to qu uh, qual uh, uh, rate the quality of the echo for chamber waves and then also in the further side they actually do the quality assessment for five standard view planes. So they use different like architectures and, and several different performances as you see on the performance section. And don't get all look at the quality control for fetal ultrasound for cardiac four chamber plane. And then they use the ensemble tree CNN model as you see. And then labs at all use the assessing quality of apical four chamber wheel. And, and they use the hybrid model and then they got an accuracy of like a 60-86% on the test set. So uh, I just want a little bit talk about this part and, and view classification and quality assessment is quite a challenging problem actually in, 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 in echocardiography because echocardiography images 
are quite noisy and the random speckled pattern and you know out of plane motions and, and signal dropouts and quite some artifacts clutter noise and you know the uh, makes makes this task quite difficult so it's really hard to to sometimes to be successful in in some cases so large a large amount of data uh, might not be actually enough to even come up with a, a reliable view classification and quality control model. And again, you know, like in a one, for instance, like in Apple Four Chamber View, you might have a good uh, LV in the in the in the Apple Four Chamber View, but not LA or the same like for RV and an RA. So uh, that's why like uh, the quality control and view identification becomes becomes really a challenging task. That's why, as you see, in some of the the vendors actually did not autom did not automatize that that process. So basically, they ask user to provide the manual. Um, provide the, 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 the view manually. And these are a kind of overview of the, the studies that actually shows the uh, did the LAB, LA segmentation, LB ejection fraction, LB and LA volumes, and global strain. So you see that uh, different studies use different like, the models and, and, and did the, the, the assessment of their models. So, and briefly, I could just like a, uh, briefly, I could say that these models mainly. For ejection fractions, like the error rate is about five percent, and for for the LV and LA volumes, actually the error is about ten percent, and or ten percent plus minus. And and you see that the studies that actually did the quite some analysis on patients. So this study, for instance, like a, trained the their models on 1.6 million images, and then tested on the 169,000 images, which is a quite large. And they provide some R1, R2 correlation for the ejection fraction. And Oh, Yang at all, you see that they also did the quite some video processing. They use a 3D CNN model compared to the others. And then their, their error mean absolute error for ejection fraction is 4.1 and, and 6% in the internal and external data sets. So differently, Octa at all, they use the anatomical constraint CNN model. So for the, C, uh, the, the 3D ultrasound for the, for the CTUS challenge. And their dice index is 0 0.91. And this is another uh, table for deep learning based AI studies for disease diagnosis. So as you see, like uh, several studies try to diagnose different diseases. So Zhang et al. tried to identify, predict the diagnosis of, uh, predict, uh, predict the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, cardiac amyloidosis, and pulmonary hypertension. So they use a specific VGG model. And then you see the, their performance is ranging from 0.85 to 0.93, eye under the curve. And Gobani, uh, at all did they diagnose the presence of peacemaker leads and enlarge the uh, left atrium and LB hyper hypertrophy. And these are customized CNN models. They use quite a large uh, amount of the data. And then they are higher under the curve performance is actually ranging from 0 0.75 to 0 0.89. So you see the Oyang at all predict the presence of heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. So they use a 3D conversion with residual connection. So you see that they use internal external data set, I under the curve 0.97. It's quite high actually, but you know their task is quite sim uh, quite uh, easy as well. So since they they try to predict the presence of a uh, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, Oman at all and Kusuno uh, said they did the they use the AI to detect the wall motion abnormalities. As you see, the ruler they did the they did the differentiate the HCM from the ATH. These are custom artificial intelligence uh, custom uh, neural networks, and then you see that they use sensitive specificity is uh, 87 and 82 person respectively. So when you think about the echo AI flow chart, so basically when you when a patient comes to the clinic, basically you scan the patient and you collect a bunch of like uh, images from different angles and you also collect the Doppler images, 3D images. So basically all the images are dumped into a patient folder, but you don't really know which file is which view and then you have no quality control on, on those as well. So you basically try to collect as best as possible. So one of the first steps in the Echo AI is basically view labeling, structuring your database and quality control. How good is the, what's the quality of the images that you are processing? Because you might have multiple images in the multiple uh, images of the same view in your patient directory and you have to pick some of them or, or one of them or, or use all of them in your measurements. So the next step is Echo AI flowchart is the segmentation of cardiac structure. So basically you have to identify anatomical regions that you are going to use and, 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 and extract them from the images. And then when you got those anatomical regions, then you can actually use analytical tools to calculate the echo measurements. And then you have all these biomarkers extracted from the images, then you can go to the diagnostic models and train the models to diagnose the patients. So when you have all these measurements and diagnostic results, then you can actually push into the uh, structured PDF report and push it to the electro, electro medical system. 
So this is an interactive echo AI workflow that we envision in Mayo Clinic. So basically, suppose that an incoming new patient comes and then you scan the patient, all the data goes to the PAC server, you have a dark receiver, listen for the PAC server, and then you get a copy and you process it, and, and then, then you basically generate all the results, AI results, and then, then you have your Diacom Weaver echo AI software. So basically you have your Diacom Weaver integrated SQL database to organize all your labels and results and train your AI models and you have interactive processing models. So basically you can interact with the AI results and then you can draw and edit, uh, editing tools for this. And then you can actually have graph tools to see some results. And then if you are kind of uh, verifying all the results and you push, submit then the echo AI structure, the echo AI report submitted to the electromedical system and a physician, just click a button and see all the report in front of him. So as a conclusion, developing AI models that standardize image acquisition and interpretation with less variability is essential considering that echocardiography is an operator and interpreter dependent imaging modality. AI guidance during data acquisition for the optimal angle, we, angle wheel and measurements would make echocardiography less operator dependent and smarter while standardizing data acquisition. Cost effective and easy access of focus systems with AI capability would have clinicians and non-expert perform swift initial examinations on patients and progress with vital and urgent decision in emergency and primary care clinics. In the near future, focus system with AI capability could replace the stethoscopes that doctors use in their daily practice to listen to the patient's heart. Cardiac, clinical cardiac ultrasound or focus systems empowered with AI, which can assess multi-mode data, steer sonographers uh, during acquisition and deliver objective quali qualification and measurements and diagnosis, will assist with the decision making for diagnosis and treatments and improve echocardiography workflow in clinics and lower healthcare costs. And that's it. And I would like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any question, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.